<laughs> what are you doing to my magazine? I'm connecting the freckles on this girl's bootay. <laughs> and it spells out, bite this. Let me see that. Dude, those aren't freckles, those are razor bumps. Look, man. I'm just trying to find a topic for my women's studies paper, all right? I'm sitting right here. Why don't you just ask me? Because I want to pass, Lisa. <laughs> Guys, have you seen Brianna? She's late for our mini date. Man, what the hell is a mini date? Well, it's usually the 15 minutes we squeeze in between my job and her being at school. Talk about her day, and we share a cupcake. <laughs> Cupcakes? <laughs> Yo, too bad I'm not taking punk-ass boyfriend one-on-one -on -one this semester, right? <laughs> Yo, man, I am not a punk. Arnaz, I'm home. Coming, sweetie. <laughs> Finally. We only have a couple minutes left for our mini date. Where have you been? Okay, do you want to have a mini date or a mini fight? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How was your day? Well, actually, That's it was wonderful. Kinda... I gotta go. <laughs> Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. I know. We have all this freedom and we're still apart. Your dad might as well be here. Oh my god, daddy! Hey. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Look, I can't be late for work again. The owner's out of town and this new manager's all over me because we're short-handed. Well, wait, they haven't found a new busboy yet? No, which means I have less time for my music because now I actually have to work at my job. Well, I'll just come down there and hang out with you. Yeah, but I'll be too busy. Well, I can help. Well, better yet, why don't I just take the busboy job? That way we can spend more time with each other and God knows we need the money. That is a great idea. <laughs> then it'll be like they're paying us to be together. Do I really have to bus tables or can I just stand at the counter and look cute, please? Sorry, it's kind of what I've been doing. <laughs> I get tips with these. <laughs> familiar with the blog? Oh, yeah. Me and my roommates hang out here all the time. We come here for the free and easy atmosphere. We pride ourselves on that. So these are the tables you'll bust, and this is the stage you'll sweep, and where that guy will never perform. You know that's my boyfriend, right? Then you know why. So if you have any questions, I'll be in the back office, because I hate it out here. Hey, this is great. No more mini dates. We'll be here together at the blog all the time. That's right, baby. We can walk over here together. We can eat our lunch together. And we can even fool around in the stock room together. Uh huh. And best of all, just you and me working side by side. Team. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Cash, hand me that mug. What? There you go. All right, I know. Let's Google monkeys in bikinis. <laughs> Arnett, do you realize that I'm the only one doing any work around here? Well, that's part of your training, and you're doing a great job. You stink, Arnett. Well, that's what happens when you don't wash out the tub. Is this how it's going to be when we finally make love? I'm going to be doing all the work, huh? <laughs> I think I just found the subject to my women's studies paper. I'm gonna call it, the workplace has no place in a relationship, also known as, who's gonna get stabbed first? Your dinner date certainly ended early. Were all the motels booked? Ha <laughs> ha, and how did your date go? Oh, that's right, I'm your date. <laughs> Brianna, why are you the only one working? Arnaz hasn't done a thing since we've been here. I know. I wouldn't even know he worked here if I weren't for the free lattes. Well, he claims that he's just training me. As what? 
A serving wench? You know, I'm telling you, if it were me, with all these hot women around here, I wouldn't want my lady anywhere near this place. Yeah, if there's one thing that turns hot women on, it's a man lugging around a tub full of backwash. It doesn't matter what you are, as long as you know how to work it. Let me show you. Whoa, what are you doing? You don't have the proper training. It took me a week to get it. Cup goes in tub. Got it. Here, let me get that plate for you. <clears throat> See anything you like? I'm sorry, I don't speak minimum wage. You know, I'm really a photographer. Yeah, and I'm really America's Next Top Model. Maybe I can shoot you sometime. If I have to talk to you for one more second, I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> You scared her away, huh? Now we're gonna have coffee. For real, when? Next time she's here and I'm here and both having coffee. Look at him over there, laughing and Googling. The only reason he even wanted me to come down here is so I can do all his work for him. Well, that figures. The woman always does the work while the man just kicks back with his buddies. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm never getting married. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> Come on, Lisa, let's get out of here. Thanks, Arnaz, for the free lattes. <gasps> that free lattes. <laughs> Hi, Benji. It's Benjamin. Is that really better? You'd be a lot quieter in the trunk of my car. Well, you didn't hear that. Look at it. I think we'll take off, too. You about to go stop that girl lunch. No. We are. So, is there anything in there on how to do some work and get up off your ass? Baby, the only reason I'm here is to play my music. I'm not trying to be the perfect bus boy. Oh, well, you've succeeded at that. Okay, obviously, the stress of work is getting to you. So why don't you sit down, relax with the internet, and I will finish the tables for you. Oh, okay. Are you surfing the World Wide Web? Oh, no, I'm just doing some research for my astronomy class. Well, you know, employees aren't allowed to use the computer. Oh, Ar Arnaz didn't tell me that. Ah, uh, yes, Arnaz, the lyrical busboy. <laughs> Listening to him was your first mistake. Now come back to the office. We have to have a serious talk. Oh, no, a serious talk? I'm not going to end up in the trunk of your car, am I? Because I will quit. No one fires my lady. All right, listen up, everyone. Okay, I just promoted Brianna to assistant manager. You what? Yes, she's now your boss. <laughs> but I've been here longer. I'm painfully aware of that. But I need help, and she's the most qualified. Well, she works hard, she's getting a college degree, and she's not just here to get up on that stage or Google monkey porn. <laughs> Wait, you're not upset about this, are you? Oh, of course not. It's great. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, All baby. Right. All right, we better get back to work. You want to give me a hand with the outdoor tables? <laughs> Please, Arnaz, I'm management. <laughs> to the front of the counter, the customers might see them. <laughs> Think about it. Oh, Arnez, did you replace the towels in the bathroom? Yes, I did. Did you sweep the patio? Yes, I did. Did you just give me attitude? Yes, I did. Okay, we'll take it out on the floor. Go get a mop or something. Dang, Brianna's Arnez's boss? This paper's writing itself. <laughs> wow, Brianna. You're on the executive fast track now. Next up, manager, then vice president, and then finally, my dream, trophy wife. Brianna's gonna lose all respect for you.
Trust me, I see it happen all the time with celebrities where the woman becomes the boss, Bobby and Whitney, Liza and that gay guy. He started off straight, you know. But she's not really my boss. She's just the person that's in charge of me. And with her in my corner, I am that much closer to performing on that stage. So, this could be a good thing. Yeah, good for you, bad for the audience. <laughs> Excuse me, Arnez. <laughs> Don't mean to interrupt, but it's time to get back to work. We're out of sugar at the creamer station. <laughs> Thanks. Well, dude, you're right. The uh, creamer station is closer to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better get to it. She might not be nice to you at home. Oh, she'll be nice. Because at home, I'm the man. Hey, who are you trying to fool? We live with you, jackass. <laughs> Please. When it matters, I wear the pants in this relationship. <laughs> looks so cute in the pants I picked out for him today, doesn't he? <laughs> I know Arnaz works for you, but don't you think you're being a little hard on him? I mean, he is your boyfriend. Yes, and I love him. Arnaz, pick that trash up off the floor! <laughs> Brianna's right. Sometimes you need to have some boundaries in the workplace. Wait, then why are you going out with the guy you work for? Because unlike Arnaz, he has a future. <laughs> Okay, sometimes I need to censor myself, but I think we can all embrace my honesty. <laughs> all right, guys, I gotta get back to work. Thank you for coming by. Oh, and you can pay for your drinks at the counter. That goes for you, too, D-Mac and Cash. <laughs> but we never pay for our drinks. Arnaz gives them to us free. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. We're trying something new here. It's called running a business. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take care of the bill. Thanks. About that bill? That biatch, Sarah, is gonna take care of it. Oh, man. You look beat. Trouble at work? <laughs> There's no trouble. Just got pretty busy after you guys left. Arnez, why don't you just admit it? You hate Brianna as your boss. And speak slowly. I'll say it. I hate having her as your boss. She makes us pay for our lattes. That's why I stole all these hot sleeves. It's gonna be a lot of hot coffee dropping the floor tomorrow. <laughs> That'll teach her. I'm the one who's gonna have to clean that up. No, you won't, because I stole the mop, too. Hey, look, man. Brianna's gonna be here in a minute. Shouldn't you go pretty yourself up so you can start on dinner? <laughs> I keep telling you, what happens down there means nothing. What matters is who's in charge of this castle. And that's me, King Arnez. King Arnez. King Arnez. What? I'm hungry. I want something to eat. Oh, good idea. Go order us a pizza. I have some schoolwork to do. You better get that pizza with meatballs. At least then you'll have some. I don't want pizza. I want you to fix me something now, girl. Arnaz, have you been sniffing cleaner fluid? No, I'm just hungry. I don't want pizza because I'm trying to eat healthy. And you would know that if you were paying attention. Now go in there and get those pots to rattling. Oh, if I go in there and grab a pot, the only thing I will be cooking is a mulatto stew. <laughs> If you so hungry, cook yourself. Hey, look, stop, both of you. Before you say something, you're gonna regret. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, now you can say it. <laughs> we are not at work, we're at home. And when we're at home, I'm the boss. You're the boss? Oh, yeah, I'm the boss. Oh, you're the boss. Yeah, I'm the boss. <laughs> Anyway, when you order that pizza, make sure my half has chicken on it, okay? <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> Brianna, where's our net? He's on the schedule. Uh, well, it's just as well. Now I could fire him without any confrontation. I'm not good with confrontation. Oh, no, 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 you can't fire him. Uh, he had a dentist appointment. 
today, and I was supposed to tell you yesterday, and I completely forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, I see what you did. You made this about me and you because you know I'm not good with confrontation. Oh, I was so stupid to tell you. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't fire him, but you can't tell anyone about my fear of confrontation or else. Or else what? Fine, just tell whoever you want. Here, you finish washing this table, if you don't mind. Or, or take the day off. I don't care. This paparazzi is my idol. Check it out. Page two. Courtney Love. Sober. <laughs> Do you know how rare that is? Well, I quit my temp job. You quit? What about your new man? I got promoted to VP. And you're quitting? Isn't that what you've been waiting for? Well, that's what I thought. But now he says he can't be seen with someone who answers the phones. <laughs> Some people are so shallow. <laughs> You ever thought about going out with a nice regular guy and not worrying about how much he makes? Oh, gosh. You're so naive. Mama needs things. <laughs> hey, you guys, where's our maze? I don't know. Somewhere around here trying to find his dignity. Hey, Arnez, what happened to you today? Did he just walk out on me? I know he did not just walk out on me. You ignore me in there and you don't show up for work today? What's wrong? I went looking for a place to play my music and instead I get a job cleaning tables? And just when I think my life can't get any more humiliating, my girlfriend becomes my boss. Look, I'm just doing my job. But it wasn't until you became my boss at work that I realized how bossy you are all the time. Me? Bossy? I always thought I was kind of shy and coquettish. <laughs> oh, you were anything but shy and... The other thing. I just don't think there should be a boss in a relationship. Well, what about yesterday? You just got through bossing me around telling me to cook for you. And did you do it? No. Then it was more of a request. OK, I'll admit I can be a little bossy if you'll admit that you've been slacking off at work. Who cares? I didn't come to California to be a bus boy. I came here to be a rock star, baby. I know, and I'm trying to help you. That's why I pushed you so hard at work. Until you do your job, they're never going to let you perform on that stage. And right now, performing on that stage is all you got. Wow. You know, I was kind of expecting, don't worry, baby, you don't need them. That was rough. If you were white and drunk, you'd be my mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby, I'm being a little harsh. But this all comes from love and support. Okay, maybe you're right. It doesn't matter, though, because I'm quitting. Why? Because I can't have you as my boss. It is too hard having someone you think of as a partner telling you what to do. Well, fine, then let me quit. This job is way more important to you anyway. Who knows what can happen once you get on that stage? You do that for me? Of course. You're my partner. But we have to find time for each other because I miss you. Thank you, baby. You know what us partners do. What? <laughs> You want to see me work hard? I'll work hard. <laughs> I'll break a sweat. So look, my women's studies professor was very upset that you quit for your man. Who cares what she thinks? I do, because she's kind of controlling my grade. <laughs> look, to make her happy, I told her you took your job back. Now, there she is over there dressed like a lumberjack. I need you to go bust that table or I'm gonna get a D. Uh, hi, everyone. Well, here at the blog, we reward people for their hard work. So tonight we'll have Arnaz followed by Vlad and Paco. So if you need to leave anytime soon, you'll have to get your own cars. So now give it up for Arnaz, our lyrical bus boy. Baby. All right, sing that song I like. Make sure you don't get too close to the mic, okay? Go. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, baby. I'm, I'm trying to get better. <laughs> now go ahead. Well, only if you feel like it. All right, hey, everybody. This song is lovingly dedicated to my boss. Well, this is uncomfortable. Yeah, wait till you hear him sing. <laughs> Look at this 
dork. He's one of my clients for my dating service. Unemployed, lives with his mom in his van, and speaks fluent Klingon? <laughs> Wait, Lisa, I think I found you a live one. <laughs> really? Let me see. Ew, and a unibrow. Hey, who wants to come to a hot party in the Hollywood Hills tonight? Will there be women at this one, man? Hey, I didn't know that was gonna be the Brokeback Mountain rap party. You guys in or you out? Well, that depends. Are we gonna ask Brianna and Arnaz to come? No way. They've only been broken up for a few weeks. It'd be way too awkward. Yeah, exes can't be friends. But they can run for governor and then act like they don't know you. It must be so painful for them every time they see each other. Painful for them? How about us? I mean, all they do is talk about the weather. Okay. Hot out today, huh? Must be about 80. 82, the radio said. 15% chance of rain. Can't take this weather crap anymore. Y'all are next. Now, why don't y'all talk about something more interesting? Say, like, the Middle East. Right, fine, fine. Yeah, we can do that. Did you uh, hear that it gets as high as 125 degrees over there? Well, do you know if it's dry heat or is there humidity? Good question. Okay. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. I'll be fast to dig and then. What a true love we are Brianna, hey, what's up? I hate to bother you, because I know you all torn up and stuff. I'm fine. Such a brave soldier. <laughs> anyway, look, I made you something to help you through this trying time. All right? I call it my you were too good for Arnez anyway mix. <laughs> I'm every woman, because you represent. I will survive, because I know you will. <laughs> and sexual healing, which I personally think is the way to go. <laughs> Everyone going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, I don't need no man. No, I don't need. Wait a minute. Where is everybody going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Wait a second. You guys were going out without me? No. We were ditching our nights too. See ya. <laughs> Wait, why? Just because we broke up, you don't think we can't hang out with each other? Pretty much. But. <laughs> Look, I don't have a problem with it. Do you have a problem with it, Arnaz? Hey, if you don't have a problem with it, I sure don't. I just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> hey, will you stop checking out Arnaz? Chris Brown is the one with the Rolex. Uh, actually, um, I, I was checking out D-Mac. He's kind of hot. Back off, sister. I've been working that for two years. Huh? Yo, this house must be higher up than I thought because right now I'm looking at an angel. Oh my God, Chris Brown. How you doing? I know who I am, but I'm interested in who you are. I I'm Brianna. Brianna, Brianna. Kind of hot. Oh, uh oh. Oh, but you're also only 16. These ain't nothing but a number. Tell me. So, if you're not afraid of calling a 16 year old and afraid of a little jail time, here's my card. <laughs> oh my God! You just turned down Chris Brown. He's 16. So, by the time you decide to have sex with him, he'll be 18. Another prosciutto wrap shrimp for the lovely lady. Compliments to the chef. I thought all this food was free. Hey, you made these? They're wonderful. Keep them coming. Oh, I plan to. I'll take nothing. I thought I could handle this. This is weird being at the same party as my ex-girlfriend. Especially when she's acting like we never went out. There's a lot of people here. You could go the whole night and not worry about seeing her. <laughs> oh, God, here she comes. Hey. Hey. Isn't this a beautiful view? Great visibility. Surprise, it's not cloudy. Barometer's been falling all day. Okay, stop talking about the weather. 
Why don't you both just admit that you're uncomfortable around each other so we can all get on with our partly cloudy lives? I have no idea what you're talking about. Not only am I good with our breakup, I have so moved on. Oh, so you moved on? Just like that? Well, of course. That's what people do when they have a huge fight and break up. They move on. Haven't you moved on? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm more than moved on. Uh-huh, I moved on so much, I'm actually back where I started. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I moved on so much, I'm thinking about what to say to that cute girl over there. Okay. Good for you. And since I've moved on so much, too, I'm gonna help you out with that by introducing you. D don't do it, man. The minute she says hi, Brianna's gonna shank her with a cocktail soap. Uh. <laughs> Don't be silly. Now, come on and let me do all the talking. You're not so good at it. Uh, so well at it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, my friend is kind of shy, but he would really like to meet you. Oh, a guy that cute doesn't have to be shy. Really? Oh, see? You two have something in common already. He thinks he's cute, too. <laughs> I like those jeans. They look well on you. Thank you. What country are you from? And then I was bringing to the back. Oh, word? More food? Oh, this is great. Yo, I can eat this every day. No, 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 no. This is for the beautiful lady. I didn't get your name. It's Sarah. Renata. And I'm Lisa, and I'm starving. Don't worry, I'll make you a fresh batch. It's OK. I am just as interested in the chef as I am in the food. You know, you're really good at what you do. I'm good at everything I do. Do you do barbecue? Excuse me? Oh, don't pay attention to them. They're just my roommates. Uh, roommates who would like to invite you to their barbecue tomorrow. Yeah, you know, so you two can get to know each other in a more relaxed, casual environment on our patio, which happens to have a grill. So can you come? Will you be there? Yes. Then I'll come. Can I bring anything? Everything here tonight was good. Good. Until tomorrow. I look forward to it. <laughs> hey, in case you guys didn't notice, I have just hooked up Arnez, which proves I have moved up. <laughs> now, if you and I were laying in bed together naked, <laughs> I'd believe. <laughs> I'm not going to warn you again. These are the best ribs I've ever had. Are you sure your mama's white? And Sarah likes ribs, right? Because I'm making these for her. Don't worry about Sarah. If she won't date you, I will. That wasn't really the plan. Of course Sarah will date him. Wait till she tastes the cornbread. I didn't make any cornbread. No cornbread? What, are you afraid of love? No, I love love. Sarah loves cornbread. Okay, <laughs> the lemonade is done. I guess I'll move on to Megan's and Bunch. <laughs> well, when I finish shucking this corn, I'll move on to shucking whatever else needs to be shucked. Hey, how do I look? Because I just checked Ronaldo's credit rating and it's through the roof. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, but you better hurry up because you've got competition. As soon as Cash tasted the ribs, he wouldn't put on his best shirt. <laughs> Ooh, that is a nice shirt. Rise and shine, girls. We've got work to do. All done. Now this corn is free from its oppressive husk. Feels good to be free, doesn't it, corn? Hey, now you're talking to the corn. Well, it's not like we're talking. You know what? You're right. This is silly. We've been friends for too long to be treating each other like this. We should stop playing games and just talk to each other like normal people. No more dumb weather talk. No more talking to produce. <laughs> Let's just be real and honest with each other. OK, I'd like that. See, that'd be nice. Because ever since we broke up. Oh, wait, just a second. Oh, no, I got it. Oh, no, it's OK. I'm closer. No, really. I, I, I... Hi. Brianna, right? Alicia, what are you doing here? Oh, Arnaz invited me. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Did you say Arnez invited you? Yeah, I invited her last night. Hi. Hi. Uh, can I put these sodas in the fridge? Oh, I got them. Uh, no, I'll get them. No, I said I'll take them. Get them. Give them to me. <laughs> Boy, you guys must really love soda. <laughs> Look, I invited her last night before, you know, we decided to be real with each other. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I don't have a problem with this. You don't. I thought we were being honest with each other. You mean to tell me that you don't care that I invited her here? Of course not. Why should I? I just hope it doesn't rain today. Oh, great. Now we're talking about the weather again. For your information, there's only a 20% chance of rain. She's a 90% chance of sunshine. So are we the only ones here? Because I'm not much of a weather buff. Oh, no. Everybody else is out back. Come here. I'll show you. Everybody, look who's here. It's Alicia. I guess she and Arnez hit it off because he invited her to the barbecue. So come on, everyone. Let's say hi to Alicia. Hi, hi Alicia. Alicia. Hi. Damn shame somebody that fine dying so young. Oh, excuse me. Where's the bathroom? Here, let me show you. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I'll show her. No, I'll show her. I'll show her. Go. We always go in twos. It's a girl thing. What the hell were you thinking, Arnez? Brianna's gonna kill that girl. Yeah, we haven't even finished our appetizers yet. <laughs> Brianna just got done telling me how honest she wants us to be. Now she's playing some kind of game like she doesn't care that Alicia's here. Well, I'm gonna make her stop fronting. Even if it costs Alicia most of her hair. <laughs> Oh my God, what have you done with Alicia? <laughs> She's in the bathroom. Oh, all right, think, think, think. Um, mm -hmm. We wrap her body up in a shower curtain and then dump it just outside of Barsta. Okay. <laughs> Here, take the back roads. Wait, why do I have to do it? I have a date. <laughs> okay, you two are scaring me. Why would I want to kill her? He should have never brought her to the house. How many times do I have to tell you guys? I have moved on. Well, come on, let's go enjoy the barbecue. You know, your food is delicious. My research indicates. I mean, your catering company must do very well. Oh, it does, but my dream is to open my own restaurant and share it with the woman I love. Mm. You mean as in share the net... Profit? <laughs> share everything, just like my dad did with my mom. They're partners. He cooks, she cleans. He drives to the fish market, she loads the fish barrels. He drives home, she cleans and guts the fish. She is going to love meeting you. Oh my God, the poor woman's still alive? Uh, will you excuse me for the rest of my life? Things heating up with the love chef? No, oh, he doesn't want a girlfriend. He wants a Gorton's fisherman. <laughs> Keep him away from me. So did Sarah say anything about me? She's totally into you. <laughs> but, but I think a chocolate mousse would really push you over the edge. <laughs> chocolate mousse it is. Go start the car. <laughs> Cute bathing suit. I told Alicia we'd get such great rays in the patio. She might want to bring a bathing suit. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Come on, Alicia. Sit down next to me. Yeah. And don't forget your sunblock. I wouldn't want you to burn. Thanks, Brianna. Arnez, will you do me? I'll do you if you do me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Arnez. Do Alicia before she gets too hot. And that wouldn't upset you? Not as much as our guest getting skin cancer. Now do her. Since you insist, I'd love to do her. Hmm. Is this what you want, Brianna? Forget it. I cannot watch this anymore. Yes. Do that lotion. Ooh, here comes the beam more beat down. <laughs> and once Alicia's on the ground, maybe we can get in a few kicks. <laughs> Now, it takes a woman to know how this is really done. 
This is better than a no, jet. No, no, no. Don't ruin this moment with words. <laughs> okay, thanks for your help, but I'll take it from here. Oh, no, 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 but I want to help. After all, I want to be polite to the girl who you invited to our house, who we don't know, to come to our barbecue out of the goodness of your hormones. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I meant heart. Isn't this what you wanted, huh, Brianna? You're the one who introduced us. You're the one who thought she was so cute. You're the one who's so happy that she's here. Okay, okay, that's it. I don't even know why I go to these kind of parties. All you L.A. freaks want to do is have orgies, and I am not going to end up on the Internet. Again. <laughs> I knew I recognized her. I liked you as a blonde. <laughs> Alicia, please. Let me explain. Oh, this turned out to be a great day for a barbecue. Ooh, cornbread. <laughs> no, don't even think about calling me. And that goes for your little touchy-feely girlfriend, too. What the hell was that? Why can't you just yell and pull out her hair like a normal black woman? Why? Is that what you wanted? As a matter of fact, it was. Why do you think I invited her here? You've been so cool with everything, it's like you're not even hurting at all. Like I am. Of course I'm hurting. I've just been acting, okay? Because I thought if I faked it well enough, I'd believe it and it wouldn't hurt so much. But to be honest, Seeing you with her was killing me. Really? The truth is, I'm not really ready to see you with somebody else yet. I guess this is going to be harder than I thought it would be. Well, it didn't help you force an Alicia on me. But you do have a good taste, though. <laughs> so what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe we need some rules. OK. Um, what if the house was neutral territory? Off limits for dates. Okay. Here's one. If you start dating another guy that you like, you have to wait the previously established five years before having sex. <laughs> Deal? Deal. <laughs> All right. Chocolate mousse. Sweets for my sweet. I'm sorry, I, I don't eat chocolate. It makes me break out. But the guy said it was your favorite. They promised me it was the way into your heart. Oh, the guy said that, did they? No, 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 no. We, we said that she loves the chocolate mousse. <laughs> That's my nickname around the house. <laughs> they call me Baked Alaska. Was out, we were all getting the dessert nicknames. You were shutting up, Cupcake. <laughs> so, this is just a joke to you people? You're just using me? Let me leave you with one more of my specialties. Seeing your old man out there, boy, I was shaking and baking, giving and going, showing and both. <laughs> okay, well, to me, it looks like you were crashing and burning. <laughs> Come on, hit me with the rock. Oh, all right. Oh! Oh, baby, you all right? I don't know. How does it look? Oh, no, I knocked out your tooth. Where is it? <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> That's not even funny. I was getting my story ready for your school counselor about how you fell. Come on, Daddy. It's Halloween. I'm just having a little fun. Hey, you've been having Halloween fun with me all week. Now stop busting my chops and go bust some suds. All right, all right. No more pranks. Oh, dang, there's a fork in the garbage disposal. Ah! Oh, she got me to hook my baby man with a hand. Oh, no. Tell him you're a joke, cause I got you. <laughs> Sometimes in the 
the spot. You can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh-huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. that when you got a perfect specimen right under your nose. Check it out. We're hitting the stair faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe he would move into my building. Relax, man. We're not even sure that it's him. What's going on, Daddy? Nothing, Puddin'. This is all about Elliot Templeton. Elliot Templeton? The basketball star? Gather around, children. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> now, see, Elliot and Fletch are longtime rivals. Drafted in the NBA the same year, Elliot goes on to become a multi-millionaire and the pitch man for Count Chocula. Yeah. <laughs> now, Flex blows out his knee in the second season and ends up living the rest of his life as just... Well, your daddy, that's, that's it. <laughs> Look, Dwayne, he is always trying to steal my life. He's like a, a hoochie in the VIP section getting buzzed off my champagne. <laughs> Next time I see him, I'm gonna rip his eyes out, I'm gonna pull his legs off, and I'm gonna kick him in the butt with his own foot! <laughs> Elliot Templeton. I don't, he ain't paying no bills for me. He ain't doing nothing for me. Elliot, my dog. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said they hated each other. Men don't hate face to face. Man, it's good to see you. How long has it been? Too long, man. When I heard that you lived in this building, I figured if it's good enough for Flex Washington, it's almost good enough for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, you know, I heard San Antonio traded you to the Wizards. Mm. Apparently, the Spurs wanted to win. That's just what I heard. Elliot, <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Did you see Jordan today? Oh, yeah, yeah, in practice. You know, I'm the only one that can stick him. You know. <laughs> Did he sweat on you? Can, can you lay a little of that on me? <laughs> I see the little guy is still on a short yellow bus. <laughs> but look here. If you guys... Want to meet the man? Why don't you come to my Halloween party tomorrow night? Oh! Daddy, I have got to go to that party. Oh, no, 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 no. I am sure there are no kids allowed. Oh, they can come. Okay, my kid's not allowed. <laughs> but, Daddy, please. Look, sweetie, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't party with my daughter. That only happens with people who live in trailer parks or carnival folk. <laughs> You know I love some peanuts. <laughs> Happy Halloween, sucker. <laughs> you better hope I don't marry your father because you're going straight to boarding school in the Alps. Somebody better tell Billy Jane to beat it because the king of pop is off the wall. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Dripping on the carpet. <laughs> the curl activator helps with my moves. See, it's moonwalking juice. <laughs> okay, well, please put some cones out because somebody's gonna slip and fall. <laughs> so, Michael, baby, uh, who's throwing this party? Oh, just some guy I hate. That is just why I'm taking you there to show you off. Oh, oh. I guess I better go push everything up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Man, this party's the talk of the town. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. 
now that everything's all pushed up and uh, this afro is starting to itch. Oh. <laughs> Trick or treat! Oh, look, it's Cisco in the Black Blossom. Uh, it's still not too late to invite us to the party and be a cool dad. Oh, yes, it is. Peace out, losers. <laughs> I just met all three Bills. Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, and Bill Bellamy. <laughs> this party is off the easy. Yeah, but is Bill Cosby here? Huh? But I guess it's not for Jeezy. I gotta go back to the punch bowl. I think I dropped my Afro pick in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's bad. <laughs> or is he bad? Man, who's bad? I can't. So where'd you get your costume? Celebrity costumes off the internet, straight from Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> where'd you get yours from? <laughs> from Michael. Here, baby. Thank you, baby. Wow. Elliot, I'd like you to meet the soul sister who brings me love and peace. Tanya! <laughs> You two know each other? Oh, we, uh, sort of dated. <laughs> oh, you Tanya type. You are looking good, girl. I haven't seen you since that weekend in Madrid. <laughs> Olay Flex. <laughs> Olay Flex, huh? You could have told me. You told me the guy throwing the party was some guy you hated. You never said it was Elliot. You have told me if you knew? No. <laughs> Listen, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Okay, I wonder what that was all about. She probably told him she dated Elliot, too. <laughs> hey, man. That's my jacket. <laughs> hey. Flex, I, I mean, sir, how you doing? Where's Brianna? Uh, uh, Brianna who? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Hello. Hey, sweetie. What you doing? Uh, uh you chilling? Watching MTV? Oh, really? Uh, what's all that noise? It's, um, it's, it's bad connection. <laughs> I, I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, I'm, I'm losing you. You found me. the greatest time in their life, and I'm stuck over here with two nobodies. <laughs> no offense, y'all know I love y'all. Check it out. The Phantom and the French made in the bedroom. Oh, let me see. Oh, this looks like it's about to get NC-17. We shouldn't be looking at this. Oh, yes, we should. <laughs> I'll get the chairs. I'll pop the corner. Mm -hmm. Murder the French maid. Why are you just trying to scare us? <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> Let's man that Elliot sure knows how to throw a party. Look at this salmon mousse, moet, and chandon. <laughs> Pastry stuff with things I can't even pronounce. Spin notch. <laughs> oh, well, if you like Elliot so much, maybe you should be his best friend. Nah, I can never get a guy like that. <laughs> Look, Dwayne, this guy's always trying to steal a piece of my life. Everything I've ever had, he's always won. Every game I won, it was my thing to throw my jersey into the crowd. What does he do? He throws his sneakers into the crowd. I tried that, and the old lady had to get 62 stitches to close up her lip. <laughs> Damn, Flex. Never seen you this jealous. And I'm not jealous, okay? I'm too cool for that. Hey, baby. Where have you been, huh, with Elliot? <laughs> I was in the bathroom. In his bathroom? Don't you think that's a little bit intimate? 
You know what? I don't like you like this. I think I'm gonna go over there and talk to that mime. I'm sure he's got a better conversation. <laughs> hey, man, don't you think you're a little rough on Tanya? Oh, you mean Elliot's Tanya? Beneath that itchy, unkempt afro lies the heart of a beautiful young woman who just needs a little love. <laughs> You're right, man. I need to relax. Hey, come on, man. Just breathe. Uh, thanks, man, for being my good friend, dog. Oh, come on now. You can always count on me. You know, I'd never leave your side. Hey, Dwayne, a friend of mine wants to buy a used station wagon for his housekeeper. Gotta go. <laughs> You've done well for yourself, Flex. Great girlfriend, great career. I hate to say it, but I want to be just like you when I hang up my sticks. Well, <laughs> you know... It was a long, hard road. <laughs> Before I got this gig, you know, I had to pay my dues. I had to do the dirty work. <laughs> well, you know, I'm retiring after this season. Oh, the old knee is going out. You know how that is. But I got a little scoop for you. I'm all in, bro. I just spoke to my agent. He set up an interview for me to be the next lead sports anchor at WYNX. <laughs> But after today. <laughs> dad, 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 there has just been a murder. The phantom right over there just killed the French maid in the bedroom. Brianna, please, look, I don't have any time for your pranks. Go home. No, but daddy, I'm telling the truth. Spirit, I'm not telling what we saw. I saw Brianna get very scared. Uh huh, which made us very scared. <laughs> Go now. But dad, it's not a prank. You gotta believe me, he's a killer. The only thing he's killing is the electric slide. I bet you the real Michael Jackson would believe it. <laughs> Hold up, man. Who's gonna move this time with little Bo Peep? Oh, Peep the Cleave on Farm Girl. <laughs> oh, God, he's leading her to the bedroom. Don't go in there, girl. You in danger. <laughs> He can't beat me at. I'm a better Michael Jackson. Oh. Hey, what are you talking about? Elliot and I are done. That was two years ago. We're over. Finito. This ain't about you. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's headed to our side of the building. Oh, my God. Unless he's going to do laundry, we're in trouble. We're going to die. I should have been the one with the NBA career. I, I should have been the one rubbing elbows with the rich and famous. 
I should be the one kicking it with Count Chocula. <laughs> this is about me and how I never realized my dreams. What are you talking about? It's just that whenever I see him, he reminds me of what I could have been. What you could have been. Look at what you are. Flex, I know you and I know Elliot. He's stuck up, he's materialistic, he's insecure, and quite frankly, he's boring. He's got nothing on the flat app, man. I guess I pretty much made a fool of myself, huh? Yeah, pretty much. But that's all a part of your charm, and I think you're sweet. Mm -hmm. Keep that up, and I won't stop till you get enough. Ow! Behind the door, it's always like this in the movies, Rosette. I don't see feet. I said we get out of here while we got a chance. <laughs> That's the fan of guy that Brianna was talking about. Hold on, baby. Daddy's coming. I saw you kids staring at me. <laughs> we want to find on you. We ain't never seen you before a day in our lives. Yeah, as a matter of fact, never seen anything. We're all blind. <laughs> you said that. We both are blind. You better keep your mouth shut. Just get away from them. Get <laughs> two women. I saw my whole 14 years flash before my eyes. You are a good daddy. What are you talking about? I never killed anybody. Oh, yeah, then what did you come up here for, huh? Let's see who's behind this mask. Ooh! <laughs> a murderer with bad skin. Boy, you need some pressure. <laughs> Look like you need some backup. So I'm backing up. Elliot, help me. <laughs> Stupid! Flex, why are you manhandling my accountant? Because your accountant murdered a little old peep and a French maid. The French maid is my wife. She had a little too much to drink, so I put her in a cab and sent her home. Oh, yeah? Well, where's little old peep, huh? Where's little old peep? Where's little old peep? <laughs> Stuart, you weren't fooling around with Delilah again, were you? My wife was gone, the bedroom was open. Do the math. <laughs> oh. Sorry, man. Sorry, it's a little rough on you. But that's just how I handle my business. Let's do it. Let's talk. Hey, everybody's welcome to come back to the party. Elton John is going to do a duet with whoever's willing. Oh, I know all the words that don't go breaking my heart. Dance on the kinky knee part. Guess I'll be seeing you around, Flex. Hey, you know, I want to apologize for my behavior. I was tripping, you know? Yeah, you were. But you've always been emotional. Well, that's what made me the ball player with a lot of heart, you know? But that's in the past. <laughs> Let's just bury the hatchet, dog. But, uh, I am glad that you moved into my building. And I'm also glad that you're not trying to steal my life, you know? Oh, sweet, naive flex. I am trying to steal your job. And your life. Hey, Bree Bree! Wait up for your Uncle Elliot! But I that did I Dad, you should have come back. Uncle Elliot's party was off the chain. Dad? Brianna, there's something I have to tell you, Brianna. I'm not like other dads. I know, that's what makes you so cool. You don't understand, see, I, oh, oh, oh. Daddy, are you okay? Daddy, you're scaring me. Brianna! You guys should go. Go away! <laughs> Happy Halloween.
to the Michelle McCall Show. This week we're in Baltimore because, well, quite frankly, I was in the mood for some crab cakes. <laughs> Lean in. We about to be okay, camera? No, the Michelle McCall Show is on the road looking for eligible, single, successful men. So for all you women who keep logging on to wheremyman.com, I've downloaded them right onto my stage. So let's meet the best of Baltimore. Luke Brunet, venture capitalist and author of the bestseller, I Got Your Money. <laughs> Michael Green, volunteer fireman and owner of the city's premier eatery, Killer Crab. <laughs> and Flex Washington, former pro basketball player and current sports anchor at WYNX. What's up, Baltimore? <laughs> When I say flat, you say that, flat, that, flat, that. When I say my, you say show, my, show, my, show. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. My next guest is the Fladette man himself, Flex Washington. <laughs> Flex, apparently you're the guy W.Y. next goes to when no one else can get the story. Could it be those adorable dimples, lady? <laughs> Come on, smile for us. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Oh, girl, I'm too proud to blush. <laughs> Sex and the single father. How do you work that? I don't. Because my daughter knows I've only had sex once in my life. To create her. <laughs> well, he's selling something, ladies. Who's buying? I don't know. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow when we'll meet Baltimore's hottest women. Not as much fun for me, but you guys will love it. <laughs> for watching, because if you didn't, I'd be at home with you. <laughs>
I'm Arnez, and this is Spirit. Spirit, you're just like Brianna described. You're different, and you take fashion chances. Thank you for recognizing, girl, but you'd be surprised what you could put together with what you find in the trash. <laughs> My mama's bathroom rug yesterday. A new coat today! <laughs> Arnez, Brianna didn't tell me anything about you. Oh, I'm going to tell you a little secret. <laughs> no, you're my dirty little stalker. <laughs> See how much she loves me? Oh, uh, I got to go to band practice. Oh, cool. Can I take along with you? That's where I'm going. But you're in the band? Well, I'm trying out today. Bass drum. I'll play snare. Well, it sounds like you two drummers need to beat it. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Her. She kind of take the focus off Arnez. Well, if she keeps taking Arnez away, that might be even better. I mean, it's nice to be liked and everything, but he chewed my bun into the shape of a heart. Yeah, Michelle McCall is coming to my house tonight. I am the man. <laughs> okay, all right, checklist. Brianna, gone. Aunt Trail in the kitchen, gone. Underwear, gone. <laughs> Welcome to. Uh, my mama said I can't handle company. Sorry, Flex, it's just a precaution. Okay, you can go now. Oh, Flex, your place is so quaint. Oh, I love it. I get so tired of walking around my villa. It's so nice to see everything in just. One room. <laughs> well, uh, later on, we can uh, jump in the dishwasher and take a little steam. <laughs> I can already tell I'm gonna love being with a sweet young thing like you. <laughs> now, where's your bathroom so I can freshen up? Oh, uh, third door on the left. And please, ignore the teenage panties hanging on the shower. I have a daughter, not a fetish. <laughs> Before we go to Bleaker Bills, I hear they have the city's biggest selection of vintage vinyls. Girl, Arnez is always dragging me to that place. You gotta take three buses and walk four blocks just to get there. Mm -mm. I have my car. Okay, I'm out of excuses. I just hate that place. <laughs> then I guess it's just us two, sweet cakes. Okay, pumpkin. I wanna get Lenny's album. Oh, oh, the first Soundgarden album. Oh, oh I'm gonna grab that one. Sweet cakes, pumpkin. Oh, Alex, I'll take dumb pet names for 200, please. <laughs> Hi, all oh, the attitude girl. Is your bra on backwards? <laughs> no, it's just that I found her first and she's not paying no attention to me. Are you sure that's what it's about? Yeah, what else would it be about? Rihanna, hey, listen, I just want to make sure you're okay with me hanging out with Arnaz. Sure, why do I care? I know he has a thing for you, and I don't know if you like him and you're just playing hard to get. Not hard, Natasha, girl. Impossible. <laughs> Arnez does nothing for me. We're just friends. Good, because I really like him. He's fine, he's sexy, and he smells like peaches. <laughs> Ugh, who would smell Arnez? That girl is tripping. <laughs> she ain't the only one. <laughs> Eating that nasty food. Huh? Nasty boy. Good morning. Ugh, nasty boy. <laughs> so, uh, did we sleep well? Did we sleep? Oh. <laughs> All right, you finish the eggs. I'll get the paper. We'll get back in bed and make love over easy. Mm, just as long as it's not over quickly. Oh, you know how to roll like that. <laughs> Get into a cat fight with Oprah, Oprah. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. Is there no other black woman in America? Uh, hi. Flex, how does it feel to be Michelle's latest boy toy? Is it true you're her future baby's daddy? <laughs> I have a steak. 
As a fellow member of the press, I find your behavior unethical, immoral, and just plain stanky. <laughs> now, if you're gonna shoot me, at least you can get my good side. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Now, you promised me you wouldn't tell anybody. Oh, I've been down this road before. Okay, so who did you tell? I, I, I swear, I didn't tell anyone. Well, uh, except my best friend, Dwayne. And he would never keep a secret to save his life. I'm a little insulted that you didn't think to mention it to me. I'm a little bit insulted that you didn't want the world to know about us. I'm a celebrity, too. Of course you are, dear. <laughs> Flex, do you realize your life is about to become an open book because of me? Don't you think we're strong enough to fight off the press? Baby, I can handle the press. I am the press. <laughs> no, Flex. These people are vultures. They've been picking at me for years. Well, that's because you're one of the richest women in America. It comes with the territory. Daddy, what's up with all the reporters? Oh, Daddy, what's up with all the reporters? <laughs> Daddy, you didn't tell me that was your date. Oh, oh my God, my pennies are hanging in the bathroom. I'm back. <laughs> Well, um, now that it's all out in the open, we might as well go public. Mm -hmm. Do you want to escort me to the governor's reception tomorrow night? Oh, I would love to, as long as you promise to. <laughs> Is that why they call you Flex? <laughs> And cleaning each other like cats. <laughs> Dang, Arnaz, get a girl some room, let her breathe. You can just keep that gun, baby. <laughs> well, hello, guys. Haven't seen you in a couple of days. Sorry, Brianna. I've been lost in the wonderful world of Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting lost in the wonderful world of vomit if they don't stop doing that. <laughs> uh, well, my little love bug, it's time for me to walk you to class. Oh, good, because these books are so heavy. Didn't he used to walk you to class? Hey, baby. Why the long face? Because I was tired of the short one. Uh-oh. Wait. Now, I know that look. I see it in my mirror every day. Now, you've been rejected, huh? That's all right. You must be an emotional wreck, huh, baby? Huh? Yeah. OK, bye. <laughs> Come here. Who rejected Daddy's baby? I don't know. I, I can't even say. And anyway, you can't be rejected by someone you never wanted. Who, who did you never want? Nobody. I don't know. Somebody. <laughs> All right, come on. Tell Daddy what's going on. OK. So you know how Arnest is always getting on my nerves, doing stuff for me, right? Getting my lunch, walking me to class, doing my chores. OK, you didn't hear the last one. <laughs> Anyway, he doesn't do that stuff for me anymore ever since Miss Natasha came along with her perfect little personality, all friendly and nice and stuff. And anyway, he does not smell like peaches. He smells like apricots. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. This is just crazy. That's what I'm saying. You have feelings for Arnaz. That's not what I'm saying. Daddy, I don't know. T tell me what's going on. Well, I don't want to encourage this, but if you really, really like Arnaz, and I hope you don't, <laughs> you got to talk to him, because there's nothing worse than watching somebody you care about fall for someone else. But, Daddy, you're not listening to me. I don't like him. I need someone to walk me to class, carry my books, and tell me how fine I am six times a day. <laughs> my baby's got it bad. <laughs> Look so... Dazzling in that tux. Damn, I got good taste. <laughs> Usually, I'm not used to a delivery man showing up at my door, except with a pizza, you know, occasionally a subpoena. <laughs> but never a designer tux with a pair of diamond cufflinks. <laughs> yeah, mama takes care of her baby, doesn't she? <laughs> Shelly, you wicked thing. Mwah. 
I see you found something new to play with. Donatella, stop it. <laughs> Flex, I want you to meet my producers. And girls, you remember Flex, the very successful sportscaster? <gasps> that, that's sports anchor, number one sportscast from 11.15 to 11.23, Monday through Friday. Thank you very much. <laughs> and girls, it doesn't hurt that he's only 33. <gasps> What a workout! <laughs> uh, hey, excuse me, Shelly. Uh, your little Billy Blanks would like to talk to you for a minute. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to feel like a piece of meat, and I don't like it. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Now, you know us women. We get together, toss back the sauce, and become dirty girls. <laughs> but, um, you can discipline me next week when we're in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> Vacation? I got a job. It's hard for me to get time off. And what about Brianna? I mean, I know you don't have kids, but I can't just walk off and leave her. Didn't you do a show about that? <laughs> hey, you want this to work, right? How does a million five a year sound? For doing what? Whatever you want. As long as you do it with me. <laughs> I was thinking my new public relations director. What? Wait a minute. Mm, I have mm. my own job, and I don't... Wait a minute, baby, not now. Wait a minute. <laughs> the cameras are upon us. Come on. Pose. So, Mr. Washington, how does it feel to be dating one of the most powerful women in America? Uh, I don't know. Shelly, why don't you tell her how I feel? <laughs> you did the right thing, Daddy. She can't rule you. You are Flex Washington. I don't know why saying your first and your last name means something, but it does. Thanks, baby. Who does she think she is offering me over a million dollars to be her public relations director? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm only a child, but someday when I'm going to an expensive college and bleeding you dry, you're going to regret this. <laughs> oh, hey, girl. You must be here to see my daddy. Well, you know what? Anytime you in town and you want to have a cup of coffee and reminisce over the good times, okay? Call me, okay? <laughs> that was, um, quite some exit you made. Yeah, it would have been a lot more dramatic if I had remembered I was riding with you. <laughs> Flex, you said you can handle being my man. Well, I can handle being your man. I don't think you can handle being my woman. I've done it again, haven't I? I've taken a good man and emasculated him. Just, just shriveled you up into a little eunuch. Oh, ho, 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 hold on now. Not even in the coldest of water do I shrivel. <laughs> but I want to thank you, Michelle, because you helped me realize that I need to be king in my own castle. Flex, I don't know what a woman like me is supposed to do. I can provide for myself. I can provide for you. Hell, I can provide for half of California. <laughs> No offense, Michelle, but you have control issues. It's like Dr. Gill says on your show. Oh, that quack, he been divorced eight times. <laughs> Michelle, I think what you've accomplished in your life is wonderful. But if you want a man like me, I mean, you, you gotta learn how to turn off all that. I'm Michelle McCall. I'm the woman in charge. Look at me, I got diamonds, I got everything, I got a villa, all that. You gotta turn it off. Like, I can do that. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Well, I guess this is where we say goodbye. Take care of yourself, Flex. I had a wonderful time. And you are a sweet, sweet lady. Coleman is not my uncle. Hey, Daddy. Uh, so what happened? You found a way for Michelle to adopt you without me? No, even better. Arnez is on his way over here with some cotton candy, my earth science notes, and my library books. Oh. I got my power back. I got my power back. Take that, Natasha. Brianna's powers activate. <laughs> oh, <that's crazy. laughs> 
and you're feeling real confident, huh? Yeah. It'd be great if you used those powers to clean the tub. <laughs> Daddy, you so funny. <laughs> There you go. There's your science book and your notes. What about the cotton candy? Oh, sorry. I, I forgot. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow at school. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Where are you going? I thought we was going to hang out. I got some stuff for us to do. Well, I can't. Someone's waiting for me. But, uh, I'll see you later, okay? Oh, and, uh, thanks for introducing me to Tasha. I really like her, and she actually likes me. for home ec class. We have to pretend we're married and take care of it for a whole week, morning, noon, and night. I am hungry. You hungry? <laughs> you want a hot pocket? Yeah. Okay, I'll make it three. Well, Dad, uh, Mr. Father-in-law, Mr. Washington, now that we're related, I think I should have a key, don't you? Don't let a little school project cost you your life, boy. <laughs> what are they teaching y'all in the public school system today, huh? How y'all gonna learn anything from playing house? Hopefully not to become teenage parents like you and Mom. God bless the public school system. <laughs> wow, it's so clean in here. So, you're dating a maid again? <laughs> you know better than that. Your Aunt Bernadette is coming in from Texas on a way to New York on a business trip. And I want everything to be as perfect as she is. I know. She's smart, she's successful, and I can really learn a lot from her. Mm -hmm. Man, where was your sister when I was single? <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you love where you're from? Then you can't get to the world Living one on one, one on one Can't nobody break this bond Living one on one Ain't nothing strange about it Can't nobody break this bond Living one on one Ain't nothing strange about it Can't nobody break this bond Living one on one Ain't nothing You know, I had a little move that worked all the time when you were a baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why won't you just shut up? I see you've got your mother's touch. Oh, please let there be Child Protective Services coming to take this baby away. <laughs> all right, that's not funny, Dwayne. I'm looking for my brother. And I'm looking for the other half of my sister. You know the half that blocks the sun? <laughs> wow, you lost so much weight, you look great. Oh, <laughs> oh that's the look I was going for. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Auntie Bernadette in the house. Oh, my God, Theodore. Girl, I haven't seen you so long. You look so big, so <laughs> mature, so teenage motherish. Mm-hmm, like father, like daughter. <laughs> Nothing. This baby's got batteries. It's a project for school. Oh, oh that's a dirty diaper oh. cry. Time to go hose this thing down. Oh. <laughs> what happened to my cute little chubby wubby baby sister with the dimples in her knees? Oh. Well, you used to hide the M&M. Oh. <laughs> no, I had to lose weight. I was tired of my knees being sticky. <laughs> well, at least this time you can fit on the sofa bed. <laughs> Crash here? You know, with mom in Atlantic City, I already know dad's probably sitting around in his boxes, scratching, waiting for her to come home before he showers. Yeah. So my baby sister is going to New York on an interview to be a lawyer. Well, I am going to New York to interview, but not with a law firm. Uh, Justice Department? 
uh, uh, district attorney's office. Even better. I'm gonna be a model. I've got an agent and I've already taken some pictures. Man, I don't know, sis. You gave up law to vote. <laughs> agree to fall back on. I don't think it's a good idea, sis. Mom and dad are gonna be ticked off. To send you to law school, dad is still driving that old 86 Volkswagen. <laughs> it's so sad watching him drive to work in reverse. <laughs> I just hope dad doesn't get too upset with me. You know how he gets. And somebody's gotta tell him. Well, could you? Say what? No, it's OK. Never mind. I was just thinking about how when we were kids, you used to fight all my battles. Mm -hmm. But you can't be my hero forever. I was your hero? Well, yeah. I mean, every time I would get in trouble, you would fly in like Superman and save me. All the girls in the neighborhood were jealous because I had a big, strong brother. Even that early bloomer, Samantha? Especially Samantha. I knew it. <laughs> anyway, it's OK, because you know, we're all grown up, and it's time for me to stand up to Dad. Let me handle it for you. Thank you, Flex. <laughs> you. Hey, Flex, got all your newspaper? You need to check my horoscope. Oh, I see it's Foxy Lady and Dwayne Rising. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, Dwayne Odell. Chubby baby burning? Is it? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Dwayne. Oh, well, look at you. <laughs> you went off to Texas six years ago looking like a twisted sister, and you come back looking like a William sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me just say I'm glad you're not my sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me see. Hi, baby. How's the baby doing? How'd you do that? Well, I don't know. I mean, at first, I was a little depressed that there weren't enough boys to go around, and then I had to be a single mom. But it seems I have a gift. Either that or you're just a really bad mom. What's up, little mama? Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. We can hit the movies tonight? Um, actually, I can't. Arnez and I have to pick out preschools for Junior. I don't know if I'm feeling this. You and... Goldilocks and too much history. Don't worry, Josh. I have my priorities straight. Arnez may be my husband, but you're my boyfriend. No, oh, that's my girl. Okay. All right. See, All right. See you later. Hmm. Josh. Hmm. Arnez. <laughs> How's Arnez Jr.? Uh-uh. You can give him your name, but you can't give him your time. I'm the husband, mm. okay, the breadwinner, leader of my household. <coughs> I've been out there busting my hump at band practice. You've been sitting around lunching with all the other mothers. Look, I wasn't assigned this baby by myself. He's your responsibility, too. It's the office. Hey, Ginger, baby. That's not the office. That's just a lot of work. OK, I'll bring you some chicken soup after school. Bye. Uh-uh. You are not going up over there. You took some vows in sickness and in health. Now, my girlfriend's sick, and I'm going to go make her healthy. OK? Now, till death do us part. <laughs> Single parents meet Fridays at the Y, in case you're interested. Where's my little girl? Daddy! <laughs> Holy cow! That's the first time I've ever been able to hug you and have my hands touch. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> so how is my big-time lawyer daughter? Uh, Flex, did you see Daddy? All right, what's going on? Uh, all right, I've come in and sit down. Might as well cut to the chase. <laughs> Remember, Pop, how supportive and understanding you were when I wanted to chase my dream? Are you trying out for the NBA again? For God's sake, son, now it's just pathetic. 
No, and obviously all that understanding and support must have slipped your mind. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Bernadette, your brother has dropped more bombs on me than a bush on Baghdad. This time, I got good news for you, Pop. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of being a boring old lawyer, <laughs> Bernadette is gonna become an exciting fashion model. <laughs> Yay? What? Dad, I know you wanted me to be a lawyer, but I was miserable. It's not all courtroom trials and surprise witnesses. It's a lot of reading, filing, and tedium. Daddy, I just wanted some excitement and glamour in my life. Of course you do. So you're not mad? Oh, not with you, baby. With you! Me? <laughs> Glamour and excitement? That sounds like something you put in her head. No. Oh, Flex, wait till your mother finds out what you did. But it will kill her. If I'm lucky, I can catch her before she leaves her room. Uh, yeah, well, that went well. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Wait, baby. Where is Arnaz? He is two hours late. You know what? He probably with Ginger. And you're with me. Yeah, but we're supposed to turn in our family budget tomorrow. What type of father is he? You know, Bree, if he were your real husband, you could divorce him and take half of everything he has. And then we could take that half and go on vacation. <laughs> Wait, where would we go on half of what he has? Your house? <laughs> Hey, here, take the baby and act like you've been holding him all day. Oh, I get it. Uh, hold up, let me get this peanut out of his nose. <laughs> oh, hey, Arnaz. What are you? Oh, yeah, that's right, our assignment. Oh, come on in, come on in. I just have Josh here helping me out with our son. <laughs> what, Henry? I know you don't have some other man here to hold my child. Uh, excuse you. You were the one too busy being Ginger's nurse to take care of your fatherly duties. Why are you trying to hurt me? I hate to break the news to you, bro. Brianna's getting a divorce. Oh, don't worry. You'll have visitation rights. You can see your son every other homeroom. Supervised, of course. Later. <laughs> 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 Me. And then called my mama on the phone and tried to kill her. What? Oh, hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, what's, what's up, up baby, man? And fell let. Wants adding another woman to his wall of sexual harassment. I mean, who wants to sit here and stare at breasts all day? <laughs> Come on, Flex. You going soft on us, man? Hey, I'm in a relationship now. The only breasts I can stare at are in a bucket of KFC. <laughs> no, Flex. Yeah. Why don't you check out my new hot fudge Sunday? <laughs> Oh my God, this is no hot fudge Sunday. This is my sister. Oh, 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 oh. Where did you get this filthy smut? How dare you bring this, this trash into my dad's family establishment? Which one of y'all brought it here? Huh? Which one of y'all, who brought it here? Uh, Flex, it's your dad's magazine. He's had a subscription to Mahogany Man for years. He's been reading ever since Eartha Kitt poses Mahogany Mate in 1952. <laughs> mm, prrr, Marcus, I'm not wearing any panties. <laughs> Listen, Flex, your sister's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the picture's very tasty. I mean, tasteful. <laughs> Sorry, man. Her booty confuses me. Man I mean, her body. <laughs> I'll be over here. You know, I'm not hating or nothing. But it looks very airbrushed. I mean, come on. Those whipped cream peaks are just a little too perky to be real. Okay, all right, stop it, stop it. Y'all talking about my little sister here. Keep your eyes off her peaks. That's right, you know what? We better get this thing out of here before you perverts make a little shrine to it. You know, decorated with flowers and scented candles. Maybe prop it up on a pillow while sipping a little Hennessy. <laughs> and wishing you weren't lactose intolerant. Man, give me that. Man, I'm gonna take this home and burn it before my father sees it. Before your father sees what? Well? Uh, I was wonder wondering, Dad, if, uh, what would you say if you saw Dwayne eat this paper? What? Oh. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> God, 
It's spreading. Another hot fudge Sunday in the making. Brianna, take your papoose and vamoose. And left and right. Brianna. And said, okay, and bye. <laughs> What's got you so upset? Bird, you lied to me. You said you quit law to become a model. Not a hot fudge Sunday. Wow, my mahogany man issue. Did they use my cream cheese spread? Too? Oh, for the love of dairy, just stop it. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Don't act like you never look at women in those magazines. Now, I remember you and Dwayne sneaking to the basement to look at Dad's National Geographics. I had a thirst for travel. <laughs> like you really caring about the plight of the bush women of the Kalahari. You had a thirst for tribal breasts. Bernadette, I may be a peeper, but you, you you're a shower. Shame on you. Flex, I'm proud of my pictures. For the first time, I wasn't just Richard and Eunice's daughter or Flex's chunky baby sister. I was Bernadette, the hot chick. Yeah, with sprinkles on top. <laughs> now I understand why you stopped through here and wanted to stay with me. You set me up. You weren't scared to tell Dad that you didn't want to be a lawyer anymore. You wanted me to prepare him for the real skin formation. <laughs> trick you into doing anything you weren't gonna do anyway. Tattletail! <gasps> How dare you? you? I'm telling Dad. Uh. Coming in here all naked, covered in cool whip. <laughs> Trying to ruin my precious relationship with my dad. Hello, Daddy? Yeah, Bernie did have something she wants to tell you. <laughs> Bernie Dad? Burn. Look at our little babies. How'd you get yours to sit up so straight? It's the starch I use. <laughs> Can't pick up my son. You're late. He's been sitting by the window waiting for you all day. <laughs> Look, Brianna, I didn't come here to fight. I came here for the boy and to give you these. Ethiopia, we gotta go down to the arcade and get you a daddy. <laughs> and this is for little Nazi. Oh. Hey, little Arnie, look what your stepdaddy wanted six flags for you. <laughs> Arnie, his name is Arnes Jr. Did it right, bro? Hey, man, look, I'm just saying. Okay, six. you guys, let's not argue in front of the children. <laughs> This better be good. I had to put on pants to come over here. Just, just a minute, Pop. I think Bernadette needs to be here for this. I can't believe you locked Ow. me outside in the cold. That is so Ow. juvenile. I had to keep you from running away again. Now, Dad, Bernadette has something she needs to tell you. Why don't you tell him? No, why don't you tell him? No, you tell him. Go ahead, Well, tell somebody better say something. My belt hand is feeling a little itchy. <laughs> OK, well, I hate to be the one to break this to you, Dad, but. I posed for a picture in a men's magazine. Ha ha, I beat you. Well, he's going to beat you. <laughs> is that what this is all about? I saw that picture. I didn't care for it, but I'm too old to throw a fit over it. Besides, when you told me she was going to be a model, I had a feeling there'd be some posing for the camera involved. That's it? You're not upset about it? Of course I'm upset. She could have mentioned the shopping article. Oh, Daddy, this isn't fair. Whip her. He's not going to flex because he loves me more. That's not true. I really can't stand neither one of you. <laughs> you, young lady, are a spoiled little brat whose naked butt is gonna pay me back for law school. Dad! And you a tattletale, mister. <laughs> now, if the two of you will excuse me, there's a foot-long meatball sub waiting for me at home, and I am gonna eat it on the good couch with no TV tray and no pants. <laughs> I guess I'll call a cab. Burn up. I'll take you to the airport. Look, I'm sorry I disappointed you. Yeah, me too. 
Look, Flex, I know you hated those pictures, but they're a stepping stone, you know, something to jumpstart my career. Yeah, and a couple of old men's hearts. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll be on the cover of Essence before you know it. I just hope we can get past this. I'll try. I'll never eat whipped cream again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my uh, little sister is not my little sister anymore. She's a grown up. Oh, can I be your grown up little sister? You'll always be my Superman. You'll always be my kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> with you? I don't know. I guess this homework assignment just got me thinking. I'm not ready to be a husband and a father. It just gets to me seeing Josh with you and my son. You know this is all make-believe, right? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. <laughs> for now. Last time on One on One. You said you love me, boo. I just figured I'd come holler at y'all before I head up to LA to try out for the Clippers! Oh, oh no, Flex. She's going with me. She hates Nova Scotia, Nicole. If I leave Baltimore now, I'll never get our nays. Besides, my whole life is here. If me going to the NBA means losing you, then I won't go. Mom helped me realize that you'll never feel complete unless you go to LA and do your thing. And I don't want to be the reason that you're not happy. Danny Davis Jr. here at the Clippers training camp here in the middle of Palm Desert, California. In a few minutes, WYNX's very own Flex Washington will begin his long journey back to the NBA at the ripe old age of 33. <laughs> flex, flex, flex. The Jarrett Hall tour continues. But the people in Baltimore are wondering, why? Why? Because the NBA needs the flat hat man. First, there was Magic Johnson. Now there's Chicken Washington. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, I'm his faithful sidekick, Dwayne Buffalo Knotts, Groupie Wrangler. <laughs> Get along, little groupie. Minister, yeah! <laughs> I know it's hot outside, but why does it have to be so cold in here? My mom is used to being in Nova Scotia. That's why it feels like a meat locker up in here. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna survive in Canada. Girl, me neither. My blood is thinner than Celine Dion. <laughs> We gotta go shopping, girl. You know, these clothes just aren't practical enough for that brisk Canadian weather. And we gotta get you some little winter bras, too. <laughs> Ma! What? Little girls can get a little frostbite, too, you know? He's so cute. <laughs> Ma, stop calling him little! <laughs> Spirit, that is not funny. Welcome to my hell, dog. That's how hot it is up in here. <clears throat> they could have at least put a fan up in your room. Oh man, quit your belly aching. This is a dry heat. It's good for the skin. <laughs> it makes it all sweaty in here. Did one of y'all touch the air conditioner? Now get up. We leave in a week, and we got a whole list of things to do. We got to get your passport. We got to get your dental records. And the most important thing we need to do is... Some morning cardio. We're gonna run some stairs, we're gonna run some laps, and then we're going to run to where we're going to run. <laughs> I'm all over it, Coach Guillory. I was born to run. I'm your running man. <laughs> Mommy, you're running me ragged! Wow, I'm back in the NBA, man. My life is great! <laughs> Wow, I'm back with my mom. My life sucks. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there.
<laughs> See, America, some people think that being part of an entourage is demeaning. <laughs> Me? Nah, I think it's a privilege to be able to wash his clothes, you know, brush his sneakers. <laughs> I am the uh, Sonny to his share, the uh, Peaches to his herb, the Cagney to his lacy. Hey, mama! Flex, day two of training camp. A shower, interesting choice. Shouldn't you be soaking those tired, old, aching muscles in a hot tub? <laughs> Do these muscles look tired and achy to you, huh? Look at that. Uh, look at that. Uh, like a cobra, ready to strike. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him, dog. Yeah. By the way, you got a little uh, deal on caked up under there. Ooh, my bad. <laughs> yo, yo, what's cracking, player? I'm um, Bedow Banks. McDonald's High School All-American, more triple doubles than any high school player in the country. Dropped out of school, got his GED, went straight to the NBA draft. Ooh, you not no cop or nothing. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm Flex Washington, a pro baller, turned sports anchor, turned pro baller. Cool. And who your friend is? Uh, who is my friend? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> this is my posse, man. Every good baller has a posse. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Posse! Yo, yo, yo. Oh. Hey, hey, man, what are you doing with my sneakers, man? What are you doing with my clothes? What are you doing with my posse? Hey, put me down, man. Fellas, what are you doing? Man, we had a whole feng shui thing going on here. Y'all messing with our chi. Hey, hey, man, what are you doing with my toothbrush? He just making sure my bling bling is bright, bright. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to study my playbook. Look, man, if I want to be bossed around, I go to my dad's girlfriend's house. The last one, not the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I gave up too much back home to be here, and I'm not going to let you guys ruin it for me. My bad, Flexi Duke. Sometimes I'll be selfish like that. <sighs> Sometimes I am selfish like that. So we both wrong. We still boys. <laughs> Lights up. That means Lee. I said... Lee! But I ain't got no place to go! Boy, you better come on out of here and stop playing with me. Good night, you two princesses of Maine. I kiss you girls on the forehead, but you might like it. Hello? Hey, Brianna's daddy. Hi, daddy. Oh, sweetie, I miss you. Oh, I miss you, too. So... How are you and Mommy Dearest getting along? Do you think anyone would miss Mommy if she just, like, disappeared or something? I mean, she wakes me up every morning at 6 a.m., makes me wear sensible shoes, and she keeps telling me my boobies are little. <laughs> you think you got it bad. I got this roommate whose posse never lets me sleep. I'm up so early, it's yesterday. <laughs> and my conditioning coach is so crazy. I mean, he's like, just... What part of lights out don't you understand, rookie? Do I have to say it in Spanish? El Lightos Ovos! What part of bedtime don't you understand? The bed or the time? But, Coach, I'm talking to my daughter. But, Mommy, I'm talking to my daddy. It's late, Brianna. Say bye-bye, Daddy. Say bye-bye, baby girl. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye, baby girl. <laughs> Record heat wave continues, Baltimore. So check your grandparents because somebody's not gonna make it. I can't believe I have to find out you're moving to Nova Scotia from Spirit. You really hurt my heart, Brianna. Look at my pain. Dang, all I see is that one nappy wheelchair chest here. It looks like a little fist. Oh, I'm gonna miss all this nappy banter. Group hug. Oh. I'm gonna miss you too. Oh. Yeah. Doing a group hug. I want some. Okay, group hug is over, Ginger. So, Bree Bree, I heard you're moving to Scotland. Nova Scotia. Whatever, as long as you're out of state. Oh! <laughs> That's my jam! Oh, oh go, uh, Ginger. Go, Ginger. Oh, 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 oh. That's my jam, too! Oh, go, Brianna. Go, Brianna. Go, Ginger. Go, Brianna. Oh, 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 oh. Danny Davis Jr., and these are the symptoms of death by exhaustion. Muscles cramp, lungs feel like they're about to explode, 
Flex, flex, flex. How you feel? Oh, you know, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like, I'm good. Yo, flex, flex. Are you tasting pennies, dog? That's the first sign of a stroke. If you see my grandmama, tell her I'm sorry I got the wrong prescription. Man, being in the NBA is a lot tougher than I remember. Whew, my muscles ache. I can't concentrate because I'm always thinking about Brianna. And Vidal's posse never sleep. They're like vampires from Compton. Well, get it together, man, because look, here come some vets. Come on. Vets? Man, that's Jack Matthews. It's hard to believe a 24-year-old can be called a veteran. Man, he's 24 and a millionaire. He can call himself king if he wants. Hey, yo, Washington. Me and the fellas are waiting to be entertained. You got that song ready yet? Man, Jack, you better go ask one of the young guys, man. I'm too old for that hazing thing. <laughs> You've been a rookie before, and you're a rookie now. You know how it goes, so entertain me. I got your back, man. Oh, man. Oh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want, what you really, really want, what you really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. If you think, 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 if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friend. You got to get with my friend. You got to, you got to. I hate to interrupt your little talent show, but I need to speak to you, old Spice. <laughs> nice knowing you, rookie. Whatever. Look, Coach, I know what you're going to say. Uh, you know, I gave it my best, and now that I'm about to get cut, I can say that I never you made the first round of cuts, son. Wanted anything more in my life? <laughs> <laughs> does it make me a hater if I hope my daddy doesn't make the team so he'll come back? It makes you selfish, but not a hater. OK, I can live with that. <laughs> Ooh, girl, we about to miss sex in the city. Come on. I hope your hands aren't wet, because I got this electric blanket set on 365 degrees. <laughs> hey, it's just static. Hey, ladies. Mom, it's so cold in here, the cable froze. <laughs> oh, no, I just had those nasty porno channels blocked. It's not porno. It's HBO. <laughs> it's off. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, what have I done to deserve this? My dad left me, my mom is treating me like a baby, and Arnez is in the arms of a hood rat with a big old butt. <laughs> mm, what next? Hello? Brianna, I just made the first cut! Well, whoop de doo <laughs> Oh, this must really be a good connection, because I can hear the sarcasm loud and clear. What's going on? What's not going on? I mean, you're out there in sunny California having the best time of your life. Meanwhile, I'm back here in Baltimore where my life is crumbling. <sighs> Sweetie, stop being so melodramatic. I'm not being melodramatic. All I'm saying is that I'd rather die than go to Nova Scotia. Live with that basketball daddy. <laughs> Brianna, you just have to try to relax, OK? You just got to adjust. Things will get better. Are you coming back? Sweetie, I just made the first round of cuts. And if I make the next round, I might make it in the NBA. Oh, and maybe I'll see you on TV in my nice, comfy igloo. <laughs> so congratulations. Love you. Love you, too. So I put some fabric softener up in your underwear. Now you should be fresh all over. <laughs> Everything all right? I'm not sure, man. But if you get an Eskimo pie in the mail from Brianna, don't eat it. <laughs> She's taking this a lot tougher than I thought. I just hope she doesn't hate me forever. What's the worst that could happen, huh? I mean, she drops out of school, she falls into the arms of an older father figure, maybe Don Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching Soul Train. <laughs> man, this rookie hates this thing is straight on whack, yo. I didn't come here to be humiliated. Does this dress make me look fat? <laughs> No, the dress is fine, but it makes you look easy. <laughs> ha ha. Laugh while you can, Flex. The only way up here for you. So, Washington, where's your dress? We thought you looked good in a little chiffon. Look, fellas, you know, I I'm down for a little fun and all, but there are some things more important than basketball. The old man's right. Now, I don't mind a little hazing, but putting a brother in a clingy scoop neck? Where's the respect? <laughs> the respect's out there on the court, and we don't give it to you. You gotta earn it. Oh, yeah? Then it's on. Psh, bring it. Psh, that'd be it. Psh. Somebody give me a baby bottle because a 
star been born? <laughs> I think that's a star is been born. Ain't that right, Flex? <laughs> At least you're thinking it, Dal. That means you're on your way. <laughs> Flex, you look great. That was probably the most amazing yet meaningless game I have ever seen in my life. How are you feeling? Well, you know, I, I'm feeling like I should feel, but I, I'm not feeling like I thought I'd feel, but I don't know what to feel. You know, it really makes me feel strange. You feel me? I'm feeling channels changing all across America. Flex. You were a real joy to watch out there, son. Good ball handling, know how to move your feet. Two on two must be your game. Because five on five isn't. You've been cut. I've been cut? I'm sorry, son. It's a long season, and quite frankly, I don't think your heart is in it. You all right, son? All right. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Man, I can kiss you, but you probably like it. <laughs> Who told you? The towel guy? He's a liar. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on, man. Bend on down. Put your head on my shoulder. Come on. I know you're trying to be brave. Let it out. Let it out. Come on, man. You know, D, I'm glad this is over, man. You know, this was my dream as a young man, but now that I'm older, I realize that I can only play basketball for another, what, three, four years? I, too. I have four days. <laughs> but I can always be a good dad for the rest of my life. You know, Coach Guillory was right. My heart wasn't in it, man. I miss my kid. I was trying to be strong for you, dog. My dream is over. Oh, Goodbye, little groupies. Come on, man. Let's go to No! What you're gonna say? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna be sick? Mm-hmm. We'll swallow, because here he comes. Hey. Hey. Look, Brianna, you know how I feel about you. And I've never tried to hide it. And I thank you for the saying, but since you're leaving, I can understand if you don't want to say anything. But I know this was gonna happen. I wouldn't have pickles for lunch. I would have the salad. Poppy seed. Poppy seed tastes good. <laughs> you talk too much. just that. I really like it here. I love my school. I even became a cheerleader, and I never thought I liked that, but I do. I met my best friend here. Spirit may be a little kooky, but I can depend on her. And with Arnaz, it's... Never mind. You don't understand. You're wrong, Brianna. I do understand. Hello? Anybody here? Brianna! Dang, they're gone, man. Why does Nicole always have to be on time? The only time she was ever late was... Brianna. <laughs> well, judging from the sogginess of the yellow moons and green clovers, they left approximately 45 minutes ago. <laughs> Dwayne, my baby is gone. She's out of my life. And it's all my fault. I was so wrapped up in myself in basketball. Flex got to live his dream. You just had to have your way, didn't you, Flex? Huh? Flat air, flat air, flat air. <laughs> and now she's out of my life, man. My daughter's out of my life. Sweet Jesus, take me. <laughs> 
Danny? Oh, I see you haven't left. Oh, sweetie, I thought I missed you. Oh. Uh, what are you doing here? I came to tell your mother that if she thinks she can take you away from me, she's got another thing coming. You got cut, didn't you? And that, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm so sorry you got cut. Well, it, at least I got to try, you know? But I just realized it was, it was just a dream. And you were there. And you, too. And you, too, Toto. It's... <laughs> Mom realized that my life is here now. Uh, see, Flex? Lady Luck is looking out for you. And because being around my daughter makes me happy, I'm moving to Baltimore. Oh, ho, you must be talking about Baltimore, Florida. I don't want you in this town. Go back with the whales. Daddy, be nice. Mom's gonna stay with us until she gets a job and gets back on her feet. And I told her you wouldn't mind. You don't mind, do you, Daddy? Oh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> Take her, sweet Jesus. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Nicole and Flex in the same town. <laughs> We're gonna be like one big brown dysfunctional family. <laughs> hey, hey. hey, 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 I said 72. And I said 72. 58. Oh, I can't wait till you get your own place. There's no place like home. We should be smoking. When did we get a dog?